Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Redux framework tutorial for beginners and this is our second part of this video session series. So guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlists of online web tutor. So basically guys, in our last video sessions, we actually understood about the basic introduction part as well as we have installed the admin folder setup of Redux framework to our local WordPress setup. Okay, so in this video session guys, we are going to understand the concept of called options in .php file in our Redux setup. Okay, so basically this is the folder actually we have downloaded within our first video session admin folder. This is the zip folder actually the website has provided. We have made unzip of that while clicking on this admin folder. We have linked this file to our themes functions.php file. So when I click on this file, you actually find that we have provided called admin ini.php file within this folder. Just I'm clicking on this, and this is the file that I have linked with this functions.php to get all the things in action. So this is the sub menu actually attached while installing that folder. Okay, so just I'm clicking on that. So in this video session guys, we are going to understand the things that actually it has been provided by that folder. Okay, to understand these things guys, you need to open the file called options in .php. Okay, so just go to editor. Let's click on OWP content. Let's go to theme. And this is our current activated theme called 2017. Just I'm clicking on admin folder clicking on admin and this is options in e.php file this is the basic sets of code guys you actually can see that it has provided by default okay so what actually this code means we step by step we will see so just scroll down this is option name actually what we have provided at the time of creation of this folder op name this is a global variable Basically, when we access any of the property registered by this folder into our front end as well as into our back end section, then by the help of this variable, we can actually access all those properties. Okay, so basically, where actually we have passed this name, when we go to its generating folders, then this is under op name, and this is the name actually we have passed while generating this folder. Okay, so just when we go to editor, so this is the global variable actually we will use in upcoming videos to access the properties or any options that actually we will create. Okay, so just when we scroll, so these are the options, these are the options like op name, dev mode, use CDN, display name, all these sections actually provides you the basic settings that you actually did so far while creating our generated folder so these all settings actually guys we have set from this ui section okay all the sections actually we have actually we can set from this selecting by any of the options will generate the option in our args array okay so so all these options actually we have set to our while generating this folder okay so basically these are options of this folder and now this is the next thing within this options in it file this is called arguments okay so when we go to the front end section of our created folder so we will find that these are the four links like github facebook twitter and the linkedin okay all these things actually coming from our these options okay so when we change github something called here it's let's say online let's say online web tutor okay dot com so when we save this file just refresh this page so while hovering over github we will say that this is the link actually we will get okay so let's hover on github so right now you can see under this footer section the link is online web tutor dot com slash redux framework slash redux framework okay so by customizing these social icons links you actually get over the access over these links okay so this is how actually we can access over social icons okay so just scroll down and now we can see that start help tabs basically these tab sections includes the sections on the top this is the help section just click on this link now you can see that this is the reason number one theme information part this is the reason number two 
okay and this is a sidebar so basically all these things provided by these tab section okay so let's say that actually when we add a new section into this just copy this paste it here and let's say that this is online web tutor slash dash tab okay this is theme information let's say online web tutor information okay so when we save this file just refresh this page once more while clicking on help we can see that here is the next tab that appeared okay so basically this is the help tab which actually generated or created by this section by using redux class this is the starting method has been called set help tab by the help of this starting method we actually called these sections and successfully it has incre uh, sorry implemented these sections at the top header okay so step by step we actually understood these things just scroll now these are the sections okay this is the most important thing guys we, we need to understand while creating any option by using redux framework so basically when we move to the front end section then just close help tab now we can see that basic fields within this basic fields we have text text area and the next is options object so all these are listed are sections in redux framework okay so basically we can register the new things also so while registering new things we can actually we need to use the sections static function of this redux class okay while using these things actually we can register a new section within this list okay so basically when we go to the generated file and we can find the basic field okay basic field by the help of this op name op name is the global variable before starting this video session guys i actually i have told that this is the global variable by the help of this global variable we can access all the properties that actually we can set from this redux framework setup okay so while registering any new section to our redux theme options we need to use set action so basically it takes the parameters called title id description icon as well as fields okay so these are the things we will discuss about these things in later tutorial okay so this is the basic field which actually generates the tab right here this is the tab actually added by the help of this set section okay so, so just scroll down this is another section called text okay this is a, another section called text right here as you can see underneath of these basic fields just click on this drop down icon and now we can see that these are the sub menus of these basic fields okay so this is also a section but a new parameter is, has been included into this set section called sub menu it is a same menu because it has been indicated by true value so basically it is a sub menu section of this basic fields if i suppose make it as a false just save it as a false just refresh this page while refreshing you can see that instead of this previously it was a sub menu in this but now it is not a sub menu of this basic field only we can see that text field is now a sub menu has text area okay so basically by changing that value from false to true it has become from sub menu to a menu okay so basically what we need to understand that this is the section that we have registered before that this is the section that we have registered underneath when we put any section underneath when we put any section and make as subsection equal to true it basically appends this section within this sub menu list so while refreshing this page we can see that while creating this basic fields we have made text field underneath of our section called basic field where we have passed a parameter called subsection okay so this is how easy to manage so the next thing is that we have another subsection and here is that so another section called text area okay so basically this section also represents the this okay and now here is the section actually we have written underneath of our apparent section is right here okay so we need to understand that while registering any section okay when we create any 
section underneath of that registered section if we pass subsection equal to true this means that it actually appeared as a sub menu to this list okay suppose when we save something like that just make copy of these things paste it here and let's say that it is not a sub menu just make it as a false okay so right now it is a parent section so while making any of the new section underneath of this when we make as a sub menu equal to true so let's say that it's a online web tutor okay so let's pass its id number two so just save this file refresh this page so we can see that text area has a sub menu called online web tutor okay while clicking on this it has a text while clicking on this it has a online web tutor so basically we need to understand that while creating any section while registering any section underneath what section actually we will pass while putting sub menu sub section equal to true it basically makes a sub menu sections with the section list okay and all these things by the way these all things are the controls all these are comes within this fields array basically what actually fields array does fields array attached all the past array into this reason basically when we click on online web tutor online web tutor renders all the things that actually has been passed into this fields list it finds that text area example has been an id text area means we need to create a text area this is a text area okay and now the default text would be default text suppose when we change something like that online web tutor let's say that this is a redux framework tutorial okay so when we save this file refresh this page while clicking on online web tutor it renders the section within this fields array it will find an array and the first array actually telling that we need to create our text area where we need to put the default text as this so this is the default text okay this is because i think that we have made the copy this section and the id should not be the same so we need to change the id of this field okay so let it make it as a two so just save this file refresh this page and now default text is right here okay so basically these id sections guys are seems to be a unique key for every field okay so these are the sections these are the sections are rendered within these fields we need to make a section first we need to make some menus if you want we if you want to make any section we need to use called fills in our upcoming videos we will use each and every section of as you can see when we click on this fill section we can find that several sections is actually provides like platy color callback the redux api color color gradient gallery editor so many several things it actually provides all the things we will use in our upcoming videos to make a closer view about these fields okay so in this video session we need to only understand about the basic sets of configuration about our redux setup okay first of all we have discussed about this global variable these are the basic sets of setup actually we get of after generating this folder from this redux framework website okay these are the general configuration that we did now the next thing is that we need to understand the concept of called sections and subsections while creating any sections at the top by making the next section if we pass subsection equal to true it means that it will be a sub menu of previously created a parent subsection okay so now we have successfully made a subsection called online web tutor so we have understood about the basic concepts of sections as well as subsections so in upcoming videos we will create some extra subsections by using this fields list as we have seen so right now guys we have the complete concept of subsections in this video okay so we will take a look all these sections and create the new sections with new fields list and new controls in our upcoming video so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day